In a few of our experiments, we're going to measure concentration using a colorimeter, which is like a basic form of a spectrometer. Uh, before we do that, I have to remind you, you have to wear your uh, goggles, your safety glasses, and wear your gloves in the lab. And you have to wear closed-toed shoes and have the appropriate attire. If you don't have those things, you'll be asked to leave. And that would be a real loss because this is a really in interesting and important tool that we use. So this is our colorimeter. It plugs directly into the power link for the PASCO uh, port system. And it's just a really simple system. It's just a light source passing through a sample. So we have these cuvettes that don't absorb in the region that we are measuring. So if I want to do a baseline sample, I have my um, calibration sample in the cuvette. I close the lid. It's important to close the lid because what we're doing here is we're measuring what light goes through, what light is absorbed. And we have to have a known amount of light, um, not amount of light, but known wavelength and intensity. And if we have the lid open, then all of the ambient light is going to be going into our sample. And that's going to affect our reading. So close the lid. To calibrate, I don't have to do anything with the computer interface. There's a green oval button, and to calibrate, you just press it. There's a green light that will come on, and it'll persist for about 10 seconds. Once it turns off, then you can open it up, remove your cuvette, and then take your sample that you want to do your reading. I always wipe these off because you don't want anything blocking or interfering with the light that's passing through your sample. Again, close the lid. If I hit the green oval again, then I'm going to reset or recalibrate. I don't want to do that now. What I want to do is read the absorbance through this sample. So I'll go to the computer and I'll click start, and then I'll record um, the absorbance from that sample. So spectroscopy is a really important tool. Here we're just using it to measure concentration with Beer's Law, that the absorbance is proportional to the concentration. We can actually calculate the concentration. But we use it for a lot of other things, too. We can identify primary coordination spheres. Um, we can tell a little bit about the structure, um, which is like a primary coordination sphere in organometallic compounds. So it's a really useful tool.